Today, I'm going to show you how to use EasyTag by Dartfish to support peer-to-peer -peer lesson observations. So let's suppose we're working on the types of questions that we ask in a lesson. The first thing that we need to do is to set up a panel. So I'm going into EasyTag, I select panels, and the list of panels that I've got available comes up on the screen, and I click plus, I'm going to start a new panel. I type in the name for that panel, and I'm going to call it questions. I've selected a 3x3 three three layout, but you can see there, there's a range of layouts that you can have, depending on how many elements you want to record in the lesson. Then I get a grid, and I name the various elements of my grid. So label one might be open questions. Spell that correctly. I'll save that. Now the color is set to auto. I'm just going to put that to black for the very, very simple reason that when we come to uh, show you it on the video, it's a bit more bearable to look at. It's visible. The last thing I just want to draw your attention to is the duration here that you can see. That's currently set to auto. And that will work very nicely because it will record how long a particular part of the lesson is going on. So for example, if I move to teacher instruction, I press the marker for teacher instruction, it will actually then keep a track of how long that goes on before I press on the next selection. So here is one that I prepared earlier, my panels for question types, and I've got a series of nine elements there. Open question, close question, class activity, you can see that for yourself. Then, when I'm ready to start the lesson, I go on the bottom here to games, and you can see I've got a geography lesson running already. So, I go here to games, and I can add a game, and this is going to be my lesson, um, and that can be, I think it'll be a physics lesson today. Next. Then I choose the panel that I'm going to use, and there's question types there, which I've already created, and up it comes. And I start the lesson, and the time starts to roll by. The first thing my colleague does is ask a closed question, so I mark it down. Then a load of hands go up in the air and I notice that my colleague chooses a girl to answer, so I press on that button there. Now that the lesson has finished, we can see the summary of the information that we've collected during the lesson. So by clicking by category, I get a list of all the questions that have asked, or all the types of questions that have been asked, and how long or what point in the lesson they were asked. You can see how easy it is to collect all the data you need to have some excellent feedback discussions after the lesson. You might find some surprises about your own teaching. I hope you found that useful. Thank you for watching.